Right, good afternoon, everybody. I hope this finds you well. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yes, I'm just going to talk very briefly about the new symphonic sea trumpet mouthpieces that are available from Bach and Yamaha. They're both available at Prozone, Prozone Music, so check them out. Now, they're titled uh, symphonic mouthpieces because they allow, they have a bigger throat and a bigger backbore and they allow the sound to be warmer. Um, and, and they open the slots of the notes, so it's easier to play in tune and match other instruments in your ensemble and orchestra. Now, um, there are several ones available from Bach, which are, they have different throat sizes. The smaller the number, the bigger the throat. It's a bit strange, but they all have a 24 backbore, which is around a 9 Warburton. So it's a bigger backbore, more of a flare, and the throats go from 22 all the way to 26. So 27 is your bog standard Bach mouthpiece that you buy out when it's just the, the normal one. But the symphonic range, yes, you can get 22, 23, 24, 25, 10, 26. I'm going to show you today the 22, 24 and 26 ones and show how they work and show how they can help you. Now, uh, and in the Yamaha range, um, it tends to be the artist models where people have had mouthpieces designed and uh, Yamaha have, have matched them. So I've got the Thomas Hooten one here to, to show you, which is essentially a one and a quarter C with a 24 throat and a 24 backbore. Now the Americans have been doing this for many years. They've been adapting mouthpieces to work on a, on a C trumpet. And really that's what a symphonic mouthpiece is for. It's to make a C trumpet work in context and to have a blow that's similar like a B flat, the one that um, sounds good and helps you feel good and stay in shape as a player. You want something that, you know, demands some athleticism from you, um, one could say. So you may think, well, why do I need one of those? My, my mouthpiece works perfectly well in my C trumpet. Well, often it does. And the more you play it, the more it will work, of course. But it's, it's the switching. It's the accessibility and the switchability where we, we, we demand more. So say, for example, you have a rehearsal and you warm up at home or you warm up in the corner of the concert hall and you play a couple of scales on your instrument, your B flat. And you sit down and you think, oh, actually the B flat feels good today. I'll play on my B flat. So you're doing Brahms one. So you start, you start playing and you've got the main theme. sounds fine and the conductor starts looking at you or something and your concert C's which is D on your B flat is not lining up the winds because they they're, they're riding a bit higher so you're sort of trying to get it but you may you may feel great if it does good but if it doesn't then you can try a different instrument the C trumpet for example that key is um, that note is a bit brighter so uh, if, if you were to then stick your normal mouthpiece in your C trumpet, it probably, it probably will sound fine. Now that feels fine. Sorry, that sounds fine, but it doesn't feel fine. It feels a bit woo, and that sends the mind spinning. I'm, I'm looking and wanting the same resistance as my home instrument. So I stick in this, which has got, this mouthpiece has got less resistance. So it allows me to blow more. Um, it's more flexible so if that oboe flute or no disrespects to oboe flutes if their C is nice and shiny then um I can match it and get some I can it's easier for me to match so that's on the Hooten now it um it this is a very balanced mouthpiece it it plays right in the middle it's I would say it's designed to sound even you're not going to get the same sparkle as you would on a B flat, for example, in C major on a C trumpet, it's not gonna have the same sparkle as D major on a B flat, um, particularly in the higher register, but you will get the evenness, which is important. So, well, that's quite an accessible top C, which is often a problem on the C trumpet. Um, now you can also, of course, there are all sorts of different fingerings you can use and I would recommend them. But um, what this can do 
this mouthpiece it will allow you to play very evenly and very in the middle now just to compare that to the Bach symphonic um, mouthpiece the 2424 which I've got here I would the back bore on this one even though they're both called 24s this one is slightly bigger now of course what's happened over the years is lots of different manufacturers have designed their own 24 back bores but it was originally a back bore that was on one of Bach's other mouthpieces I believe on his non C cut mouthpieces just a straight two or straight three I believe that had a 24 back bore and people used to mix and match now of course everyone has a different interpretation of where that is depending on the mandrel size how worn out the mandrel was and all those different things and the Yamaha one is definitely a tiny bit smaller now for me I prefer that I prefer the slightly smaller it gives the sound more focus and I like the slightly increased resistance maybe it's because I play on a Yamaha C that mouthpiece was designed with this one in mind or you know the, the Mr Hooten plays on that mouthpiece and he plays on this trumpet the generation three Chicago I believe he plays now but um so the Bach symphonic mouthpiece you might find works better in a higher resistance C trumpet because it's more open more free blowing but you need to try I would say that it, it has a slightly brighter sound slightly louder sound um <sighs> easier to play loud than the Hooten but I would say the Hooten's easier to play quiet so there you choose your and for me it has a bit more fire in the sound so uh, but both of them have make the top C's and the, it make easier to lift the E and easier to lift the C the note is definitely wider than on the standard mouthpiece the other dreaded excerpt that we all try to play is pictures at an exhibition you've got the G in the middle of the trumpet which wants to sit, it wants to sit quite low. And because we've been playing our B-flat trumpets, we're used to pulling down an A. So suddenly we're going, ah, and then we've got to play up there. And this, the symphonic mouthpiece, just gives you that flexibility just to play in the middle of the sound. So then you get the evenness, which uh, is always a nice thing for pieces like that, where you're exposed. Okay, so there's a brief comparison between the Hooten and the Bach one and a quarter C symphonic. Now I'll just show you a, um, if for one C players, so yes, the, the Bach symphonic range is primarily in the one and a half, one and a quarter and one C range. You can ask, if you're a three C player, you can say to Bach, look, can I please have a, a symphonic version of that? And they will do it. And Prozone can help you with that. Now the 2224, I found better on the C trumpet, on the one C because that is a deeper cup. So the throat, the, the bigger throat allows the upper register to be a bit brighter. Now, because it's a bigger cup, you, you, you might find your upper notes are a bit dull. And that 22 just gives you that lift. I mean, Herseth famously played on a 22. So that really helps. So say you have to play something like the end of Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra. You've been playing your concert on your C trumpet. You don't particularly want to switch to a cold E flat. And you've got that big top C coming then this, this, this mouthpiece will help you get through that. It's also the slots are much easier. I probably would have split that on a standard mouthpiece because you have to be so exact. It just gives you, it just increases your margin of error just a tiny bit. And for me, it makes them more comfortable. So the other Yamahas that work on the C trumpet are the Mark Gould. That's got a big throat, but that's actually got a tighter back bore. Um, and also you can, the, the Eric Orbier is very good. That's good. That's got a slightly bigger back bore. It's more like a one and a half C. It's in between a one and a half and a one and a quarter. And finally, the Bob Sullivan is quite good. That's for the one C player. That's a bit like the famous Phil Smith mouthpiece with a one C rim. It's got a five B cup, a big throat and a big backboard. It's a very big mouthpiece um, if, if you like to have a big blow. So um, yes, I hope that helps. There is also a 26, 24 available, which I found works quite well on the C trumpet. It it's a, should be a slightly more focused sound. Now that works quite well too 
on the B flat trumpet. Um, it, it, the, the tighter throat just secures the slots a bit more, focuses the sound, which um, you kind of want the opposite on the C. You want a bit more space. So yes, I hope that helps. Um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to put them in the YouTube chat. But they all work. That's the point. And it will turn. It, it, the best thing about it is you can take your C trumpet on tour or take it to a concert. You can warm up on it with your symphonic mouthpiece in there, and it will give you the athleticism and the blow of your of your B flat trumpet and and keep you keep you in check. You know, you can do your. <sighs> I found that some of the other mouthpieces they're so restrictive they don't get me blowing enough and they don't keep my athleticism working so yeah there's a lot to be gained and they're very affordable um they're less than that they're under 100 pounds by significantly so between 60 and 80 i believe maybe even less so have a check them out uh, the bark symphonic mouthpieces and the yamaha artist series okay thank you for indulging me everyone and have a good day